Hello, Namaskar and welcome to Indian Tales 1508. The Jataka Tales, adapted in English by Ellen C. Babbitt. Episode 12, The Princes and the Water Sprite. Once upon a time, the king had three sons. The first was called the Prince of Stars, the second was called the Moon Prince, and the third was called the Sun Prince. The king was so very happy when the third son was born that he promised to give the queen any gift she might ask. The queen kept the promise in mind, waiting until the third son was grown before asking to give her the gift. On the twenty-first birthday of the sun prince, she said to the king, Great king, when our youngest child was born, you said you would give me a gift. Now I ask you to give the kingdom to the Sun Prince. But the king refused, saying that the kingdom must go to the eldest son, for it belonged by right to him. Next it would belong by right to the second son, and not until they were both dead could the kingdom go to the third son. The queen went away, but the king saw that she was not pleased with the answer. He feared that she would do harm to the older princes to get them out of the way of the Sun Prince. So, he called his elder sons and told them that they must go and live in the forest until his death. Then, come back and reign in the city that is yours by right, he said. And with tears, he kissed them on the forehead and sent them away. As they were going down out of the palace, after saying goodbye to their father, the Sun Prince called to them, Where are you going? And when he heard where they were going, and why, he said, I will go with you, my brothers. So off they started. They went on and on, by and by, and they reached the forest. There they sat down and rest in the shade by a pond. Then the eldest brother said to the Sun Prince, Go down to the pond and bathe and drink. Then bring us a drink while we rest here. Now the king of the fairies had given this pond to a water sprite. The fairy king had said to the water sprite, You are to have in your power all who could go down into the water except those who give the right to answer to one question. Those who give the right answer will not be in your power. The question is, what are the good fairies like? When the Sun Prince went down to the pond, the water sprite saw him and asked the questions. What are the good fairies like? They are like the sun and the moon, said the Sun Prince. You don't know what the good fairies are like, cried the water sprite and he carried the poor boy down into his cave. By and by the eldest brother said, Moon Prince, go down and see why our brother stays so long in the pond. As soon as the Moon Prince reached the water's edge, the water sprite called to him and said, Tell me what the good fairies are like. Like the sky above us, replied the Moon Prince. You do not know either said the water sprite, and dragged the moon prince down into the cave where the sun prince sat. Something must have happened to the two brothers of mine, thought the eldest. So he went to the pond and saw the marks in the footsteps where his brothers had gone down to the water. Then he knew that a water sprite must live in the pond. He girded on his sword and stood with his bow in his hand. The water sprite soon came along in the form of a woodsman. You seem tired, friend, he said to the prince. Why don't you bathe in the lake and then lie on the bank and rest? But the prince knew it was a water sprite and said, You have carried off my brothers. Yes, said the water sprite. Why did you carry them off? Because they did not answer my question, said the water sprite. And I have the power over all who go down to the water except those who give the right answer. 
I will answer your question, said the eldest brother. And he did. Good fairies are like the pure in heart who fear to sin, the good kindly in word and deed. O oh, wise prince, I will bring you back to your brothers. Which shall I bring? said the water sprite. Bring me the younger one, said the prince. It was on his account that our father sent us away. I could never go away with Moon Prince and leave her poor son Prince here. O wise prince, you know what the good should do, and you are kind. I will bring back both your brothers, said the water sprite. After that, the three princes lived together in the forest until the king died. Then they went back to the palace. The eldest brother was made the king, and he and his brothers ruled with him. He also built a home for the water sprite in the palace grounds. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe and ring the bell icon so you can catch the continuations, cliffhangers and all episodes of Indian Tales 1508. Goodbye!